Hi everybody, my name is Tom. In this video we check out some gu guns that are not used usually. These are all the guns that are marked gray here. Uh, it's a sniper gun, it's the file, it's the calamity, amnesia, uh, the shotguns out of the box. Uh, what else? We have the cobra. All stuff like that and of course the off-the-wall weapons and uh, this is really cool so this is really interesting please stay on it well let's just start with the type read and marry this is the upgraded HS10 and wow this thing is a beast check it out man well uh, when you use a shotgun it doesn't differ if you shoot into the zombie's stomach or into the zombie's head or whatever it does not make any difference so uh, just aim for the stomach so you can uh, can hit the, the zombie easier, you know? Uh, just make sure that every shot in the shells hit the zombie and then you do a 2400 damage and this is quite a lot considering how fast you can shoot with it. So just stay close to a zombie when you shoot it and then you do damage like hell and you can kill a whole zombie train pretty fast and that's really cool. And yeah, the problem is just the ammo. I mean, you see it, it's decreasing and decreasing. That's really sad. But the cool thing is, is that it's just a killing machine. So let's compare it to the Spes 24. Well, the Spes 24, um, that thing is a beast. That thing is a beast. It's fully auto and you see how fast it is with double tap. And the reload is fast as well. It just kicks ass and you kill a whole zombie train quite fast. I mean it's round 22, it's not the lowest round, but it's like a, a little thunder gun replacement. And that is what I like that much about the Spaz 24. So uh, you just gather up a whole zombie train and kill it in like 5 seconds or so. And then you wait for the next zombie train. This is like a typical thunder gun replacement. And even if you get trapped or so, you can free yourself with this best 24. Uh, that thing is a really, really cool gun, and I actually like to have it as a secondary gun. Because uh, it, um, mm. this actually makes me happy in my pants, to be honest. So, seriously, check it out. It has only the ammo as a problem, and otherwise, it's very cool. So, let's go to the next gun, and this is the. Kraus Refrigerator. Sorry, I can't spell that word. Well, what a, a lot of people don't know is that this gun has actually quite a huge headshot damage. Um, actually, 3000. And that means that it is a 1 kill till round 21. And since you can pick up your used knives, you have actually kind of infinite ammo. And that is very cool, but to be honest, who the fuck needs infinite ammo in round 21? I mean, just pick up an HK and you, you have like tons of ammo, too much. You have too many max ammos that are dropped in these rounds. So uh, it can't be counted as an advantage, but of course what is an advantage is that you can revive your teammates and everything. But yeah, it's not... Mm, I know. Using it like this, going for headshots, just sucks. Because uh, you always have to pick up your knives and this takes time like hell. And you will lose some knives, you just don't find them in the first few looks and that. That's just kind of crappy and you see how slow it is. It is absolutely not efficient. And that is why I cannot recommend this gun. I can recommend it. Uh, cause, uh, cause, uh, cause of the reviving and it is really cool if insta kill is on you can knife really fast well by the way what is cool is that you get uh, of course uh, 100, 130 points each kill I mean you see it it's a knife kill so it's a 130 points even uh, if you are shooting with it that's cool but anyway in general uh, I would recommend a cool shotgun as a secondary weapon uh, way more than this gun here. So let's go to the next one. And this is the Cobra. Ooh. Alright, so this gun is a really, really beast. Uh, I strongly recommend Speed Reload because uh, 
the reloading can be a little bit annoying otherwise but when it's upgraded it's uh, it's not that bad with the reloading what is the problem here is that it's kind of difficult to aim with it I don't know why but it's actually kind of difficult and um, if you can place a cool nice headshot it's a one I kill till uh, round 21 and you see I'm in 28 so I actually need two shots to kill a zombie but still you can see lots of zombies are spawning um, you make quite a nice progress with it it's really cool and it doesn't make it a difference if you shoot into the zombies head or into the zombies neck that's really cool so uh, you don't have to aim that precise but yeah it, it is a freaking beast that gun I really love it I especially love it in combo with a bowie knife and stuff you know shooting the zombie once or twice and then knife him that's really cool especially till around 20 or so um, I strongly can recommend this gun I have it in some gameplay video of Ascension. Check that out. That is really cool how it kicks ass. Um, it's tons of fun. It's it's really cool. It's really cool. And um, yeah, it's, it's 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 very fast. You shoot fast. Reload is fast. The ammo is okay. So there is nothing to complain about with this gun. And it's just something different than than you do usual. I mean, try, try it out, seriously, it is cool, it is really cool. You won't be disappointed by it. It kicks ass, the sad head's dead. Well, and here we go with the other pistol that I want to show you, and this is the upgraded CZ-75. It's called Calamity. Please note that I don't present here the upgraded dual wielded CZ-75, the Calamity and Jane, and this is because with the dual wielded gun you can't aim down your sights and you can't do precise shots and we definitely want to go for headshots since this gives, uh, especially with this gun I guess it's, uh, uh, with this gun it's a 3.5 multiplier that we get, so we make 3.5 times more damage if you shoot into the zombie's head than into the zombie's stomach and this saves ammo like hell. Well and you see this gun is really fast, it shoots fast, the rate of fire is cool, the reload is extremely cool and it just kicks ass, it just kicks the zombie's ass, it's a huge headshot monster, it's very stable, it's really cool, it doesn't make a difference if you shoot the zombie's head or the neck so you don't have to aim that precisely and all this together makes it to a huge headshot monster and it's seriously a gun that is totally underrated. I really love that thing, seriously, I love it. It's so cool with it. I mean, maybe the ammo is not perfect, but it has tons of ammo for a pistol, really tons of ammo. I know, I think it's like 240 shots in the max ammo or so. That's not too bad, it's not too much, but it's, it's not too bad either. So, Seriously, check this gun out. This is really, really cool stuff here. Alright, and here we go with the AK-74 Fuck U2. This is the upgraded AK-74U. It's an off-the-wall weapon, means you can easily get it you don't uh, you are not dependent of the box and you can even buy ammo for it if you run out of ammo that is really cool and this gun is really stable it shoots extremely fast the reload is really fast which makes it to a huge efficient gun it's it's a crazy gun you just kill a whole zombie train here and run 17 in, in like like 10 or 10 seconds about and this is really, really, really cool. So I strongly recommend this gun. I think it's totally underrated, absolutely underrated. I don't know why nobody uses it. It is so cool. You see how stable it is. Although you are shooting all the time, the, the, the crosshair or the reticle or whatever that is called doesn't move. It doesn't move. It, 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 it doesn't spray the ammo around. It's just a huge precise gun and that is really cool which makes it to a huge killing monster. So seriously, check this gun out. And cool about this gun as well as the M16 that we will check out just afterwards. They have a headshot damage multiplier of 5. Saying it makes 
crazy ass bitch damage if you shoot into the zombie's head. This goes on like uh, shit, you know what I mean? I just wanna say, it kicks ass when you shoot at the zombie's head. So uh, make sure you aim for the head, but that is no problem with these two guns here. Here we see the Skull Crusher, upgraded M16. Uh, the M16 doesn't have that many ammo as the AK does, and I think it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's a little bit weaker than the AK, which makes it uh, not to the weapon you want to prefer, prefer the AK, but it is still a very cool gun. And we don't have to forget the grenade launcher that we have attached onto the Skull Crusher. That can come in handy, especially if you want to make crawlers and stuff. So I, I often go with the uh, AK and M16 combo. This is really cool. Uh, works till around 25, maybe even 30. It's, it's really cool. Makes fun like hell. So check it out. It's really worth it. I mean, just because it's off the wall doesn't mean that it's shit. Well, and here we see the EPCW, and this is the upgraded FN file. And this gun has a three-shot burst, as we can see. And I just tried to show you here how many zombies you actually kill with one of those three shots burst. And usually you can kill, I would say, about two. If you aim mm, well, you kill about two zombies here in round 21. And this gun has indeed a huge, huge, huge damage. Multiplier here is again 5 for headshots and it does make a difference uh, if you shoot the, the head or the neck so it makes it kind of easy to aim and yeah here just try to, to go for a fast killing of the whole train and this gets a little bit difficult just because of that uh, 3 shot burst but you see the train is actually done now already and don't underestimate the damage that it has, because the damage is, is huge. I think it's about 1,100 or 1,200. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's way more than the RPK or the HK does, believe me. Uh, this is a gun that is really cool. It's really fun. And the ammo it has is crazy. It's about uh, uh, up to 400 shots or so. So this comes close to the RPK and stuff. And this is really cool. It's, it's actually, if you make a maximum damage with all the ammo you have, you can do more max damage than with an RPK, an upgraded RPK and stuff. So don't underestimate the foul. Well, and now here the sniper guns. This is the D115 disassembler. And this assembler is pretty appropriate because snipers have a headshot multiplier of 10. I repeat, 10 means you do 10 times more damage when you shoot into the zombie's head. And uh, in numbers, that mean that you do 10k damage. And this is a one-hit kill until and with round 33. 33. This is a long time. And I'm not sure till what round it's a two-hit kill, but I'm just guessing about round 40. And this is really, really crazy. Don't underestimate it. But uh, make clear that you know that it differs if you shoot the zombie's head or the neck, so aim carefully, which is actually not too difficult. And you see you do easy that achievement, kill three zombies with the same bullet. I just do this about ten times here in this cut here. And this this gun just kicks ass. It kicks ass. I mean it's not that efficient, it's not the fastest killing you can do. But it's neither the slowest. It, it is it is really really cool. And uh, you see, I mean, kill one, kill two, kill kill three, kill two, kill kill two, kill three. Each shot you do, you kill some zombies. And most of the time, you don't just kill one. So this thing here, the upgraded Dragonov, is a crazy beast. And the ammo it has is not too bad. It doesn't have that much. But considering that you kill. Uh, more than one zombie each shot, uh, it's cool, <laughs> it's cool, and it's enough. Going with both <laughs> upgraded snipers, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you can, uh, you don't have any ammo problems. You see, it, it just splashes the zombie's brains. So let's go to, do, to the L115 Isolator, that's the upgraded L96. And 
here we can't do these shots in a row because the the, the 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 gun just uh, has a, um, you know the crosshair flies away after a shot but who cares so we just go for a single shot all the damage and stuff is exactly equal to the to the d115 but what I like about this gun is uh, that it, I think it's easier to aim with it. No, seriously, I do. And this is just a huge beast. You see it's around 31 and you see that with each shot I, I kill some zombies and not only one. So this is why I actually fade in the, the, the stats all the time. So you can see how many kills I do. Um, let's see. These were two headshots. 53 kills now. And what we get now? Bang. Two kills. No, three actually. 56. And what is the next shot? Bang. 59. So again, three kills. And the next shot? Bang. 61. You see that thing kicks ass that thing just kicks ass and I actually just uh, wanna leave you with uh, these impressions here of the upgraded sniper a gun that nobody uses a gun that nobody wants to use a gun that everybody considers a piece of shit but um, it's actually a very very hardcore gun it's really hardcore I mean, wow, I just love it, I just love it. And uh, seriously, I say, try it out. Might not be the fastest one, but if you combine the, the ammo you have and the damage it does, this gun is actually the best gun in the game. No, seriously, it's, it's, uh, it's just the st statistics and stuff, but it actually is the best gun. Not the fastest, of course, which makes it a little bit not, uh, not to the best gun, but uh, considering damage and max ammo and stuff, it is a crazy gun. It's the best gun. I mean, I, I just uh, don't consider uh, Wonder Weapons when I say this. I just say it's better than the H game. Yeah, and yeah, that's basically it. So please try it out and let's just enjoy this gameplay here. i right, see ya and check my other videos. Bye. Beat that offer, money. Go! Touch me again and I will kill you again! Punish crimes of such magnitude! I dare you to repeat that offer, Maricon! I bring you greetings of a second death! Putrid fingers of my uniform, you filthy flesh eater! Considerese castigado! Touch me again and I will kill you again!